Welcome back you guys, your boy CK, and every single year around this time they seem to drop this 99 overall Michael Vick. He's going to be one of the most coveted items in all of Madden Ultimate Team for the foreseeable future. I mean, look at this, 98 speed, 100 throw power, 98 throw deep. That's all you need, but he still has amazing stats all across the board. That 97 throw short with the 96 throw on the run. Oh my goodness. Now they also added this to Marcus Ware in the game. 97 overall right outside linebacker going for an insane amount. 90 speed and 97 acceleration. That's insane for a linebacker. He also has that 98 play wreck because he's a veteran. And he pretty much makes plays on his own, man. So this card is very, very nice. Next up is Philly Brown, 89 overall wide receiver from the Panthers. I think he's a little bit underrated, going for under 15,000 coins. He has 94 speed with that 95 elusiveness. And he also has 96 spec catch. Even though he's only 5'11", I think this card is very, very underrated, man. And they also added another Darian Stewart in the game. He has a 91 overall free safety. This one is a 94. Now let's go ahead and see his stats. 93 speed, 96 hit power, and 93 acceleration. So he's very, very nice. Um, I don't know why he's going for so cheap. That's a really good combination. He might not be the best coverage free safety, but he can definitely cover the run. And last but not least, we have this 91 overall punter from the Broncos, Britton Coke, with going for under 10,000 coins, 96 kick power, and 95 kick accuracy. I guess it'd be nice to pull him. I'm on my farm account right now. I figured why not get the first bundle of 2016. I haven't gotten one since. I don't even know what promo. It was way before the Ultimate Freeze promo. Probably on the BCA promo, but yeah. Two game changer bundle starting at light, man. You gotta ease our way back into the bundle purchases. We don't want EA to take all our money as we're getting the Schefter Star John Brown. One of the cards I use to farm and make coins. You just bid on them low and you sell them high. You guys know how it goes. A lot of golds, and I'm not digging it, man. I'm probably not gonna buy another bundle. Uh, I'm gonna stick to legend exchanges and all those sorts of stuff because these bundles are not doing me any favors. Oh my god. I got the juice, man. 95 loop. Keekly. Team of the week. This is insane. My pack look has been absolutely ridiculous lately. I don't know what's going on, man. Did you see his stats? Oh my god. You just got the best middle linebacker in the NFL. 95 overall, Luke Keekly. I still can't believe it. And it's not over, man. The elites keep on coming. Calvin Pryor, 86 overall, free safety. Are we going to get another lead? Are you going to bless me with Mike Vick and Luke Heakley in the same pack? Okay, I, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm happy with this pack. I mean, we end off with a Luke Heakley in a game changer pack. Let's go ahead and finish off with this topper. Oh, man. So this is where things get a little bit complicated. You guys saw me pull Luke. Now, you guys want me to do another legend exchange. The thing is, I have to be able to be selling some of these cards back. So even though we pull Luke... I'm going to let you guys decide, do we sell them and use those coins for the next Legend Exchange? Or do we go ahead and sell Ty Law and use him for a Legend Exchange? Because as I keep doing these, my coins keep going down. I need my coins to stay at an even level so I can keep on doing these for you. So that's the question of the day. Do we sell Luke or do we sell Ty Law? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop the like if you did. Subscribe if you're new around here. And as for me. Gotta run when I get a bird call. Damn, happen that thing in Murkoff's verbal.